Thanks, Lillian. The Birmingham Police Department is under new leadership this morning after Chief Patrick Smith stepped down due to personal reasons last week. The man in charge now joins us live in studio. Interim Chief Scott Thurmond is here. Chief, thank you for getting up early and for your time this morning. Very well. I'm curious, you have such a wide range of experience in law enforcement. You joined this department in 1999 as a patrol officer. Here you are as interim chief. First question is, how much warning did you have of this? And, and two, what do you think the most pressing challenge for this department is at this point? Um, it, was a, it was a very sudden decision. Um, and what was the second question? Uh, what do you think faces the Birmingham Police Department in general? What's your top priority right now? Uh, of course, fighting violent crime, gun violence, retention, and hiring new officers is our top priorities. And World Games. World Games is the big issue. That's a mm. huge thing for Birmingham and the state of Alabama. And we want to put on a, a safe, uh, happy environment for everyone. Yeah. So 1999, you started uh, in the department as a 98, 98 in a patrol yes. officer. You started in North, uh, North Precinct, Fort Apache, as right. the, the older ones call it. Um, you've done homicide, burglary, robbery, um, field training officer. You use all that experience now to lead this department. When it comes to tackling, I think most people would say the biggest issue would be the murder rate. How do you take all of that experience and push the department in a direction to keep fighting that and maybe lower those numbers? Well, one of the things we did is work with our state and local partners. Um, the, the gun violence and, and murder and things is a, a lot larger problem than just, just the city of Birmingham. It's a nationwide problem. So Birmingham Police Department can't tackle that all by themselves. So we've got to reach out for help. Uh, just kind of like in class, you, you ask the teacher for help. You know, we have to reach out and ask for help. When you look at um, moving forward in this department, whether you stay in this role in a, in a permanent manner, if you even want to, I, I'm struck every time there's a search. They, everybody says a nationwide search is underway for our next chief, and, and the most recent one was from out of state. How do you assess what this department needs in terms of leadership with so many people who've been with the department like yourself for so long, uh, a search that often brings in someone not familiar with Birmingham in that way? What does this department need in its next permanent police chief? Uh, I think someone who understands the community that we serve and understands what our officers need at the same time. I mean, we have various, Birmingham is a very unique city, and you have to understand the history and the needs of the community, and that's the only way we're going to be able to serve them best. You've seen so many changes in this department since you started off as a patrol officer, haven't you? Yes. The city has changed itself yeah. and growing. The World Games, you bring up a great point. We're going to have football teams in here um, playing games. How do you, and, and as a reporter here since 1990, staffing has always been an issue. You train these men and women, and then they end up, some of them, taking jobs at other departments. You're always at a deficit. How do you increase the number of officers? You have a number of openings, right? We do, and so one of the things that the city is working on is um, some potential pay increases for officers, so it makes it more attractive and lucrative to stay. Um, but it really, if you want to be a police officer in Birmingham, is where you're going to experience and have, you know, the, the most experience. Um, a variety of different variety calls of things. and situations. You know, Birmingham officer has much more experience than officers in other municipalities may never experience, and all in the first few years. So we're, I guess we're more well-rounded and have more experience than other agencies. I don't think you would argue with me if I called your job one of the hardest in the city in terms of all the different oh. entities that you have to work with, all the people you have to at least try to please. We talk so much about crime rates. We talk about the perception that crime in some statistics, whether accurate or not, people feel like some things are up or down or whatever. What makes you optimistic as you take on this role? Um, I think that, well, I know that in the last, from 2018 till now, crime has gone down 32 percent in the city of Birmingham. Now, for the last two years, yes, homicides have been up, but overall part one offenses, which is our violent crime and property crimes, right. that total is down 32 percent from 2018 till today. That's great news. I guess we hear so much that could be perceived as bad. I guess I'm curious, you seem like a guy, you've seen a lot in this department. What gives you hope for this department and for increasing staffing? All the challenges that lie ahead. Are you optimistic about the future? Oh yes, I know we can do it. Uh, I'm excited about taking Birmingham to the next to the next level. Uh, we've got a lot of ideas, but also have a great support team to work with me. I, I can't do this by myself. There's a team of us that can, and all of us working together, we can drive the department forward and serve our citizens better. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, get to know you as the interim chief now, and see where the city goes. It's great to see you. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank this you very morning. much. We yeah. appreciate your time, and we'll be right back with more here on the CBS 42 Morning News.